outside B, our uh, C defender and our D, D defenders, they have the opposite foot up, so they have their inside foot forward. A partir del defensor C, ya la, la, la posición de los pies cambian por un tema de... The reason for that is ¿Por qué hacen eso? That they're harder to beat on the outside. Para que no los... Porque ellos están defendiendo más lo que pasa por afuera para que no los, eh, no los venzan por el lado de afuera. And if they want to see the ball, they can just turn their head. Dice que miren, si quieren ver la pelota, que, que giren la cabecita, pero que estén enfocados en lo que tienen enfrente. So what I don't want is them turning like that to see the ball. Lo que no quieren es que estén así mirando nada más que la pelota y no miren para adelante. Because that tends to put them on that line. Porque eso tiende a que los jugadores salgan en esta dirección. And if the pass goes there, they've got to go. Y si la pelota los pasa, tienen que cambiar todo. So I want them like that. So I'm able to come up and then go quickly to the outside. ¿Está? So we use the term stay alive. Y usan un término ellos que es stay alive, que es stay alive. mantenerte vivo, mantenerte activo. Okay, so B takes us up, C's up fast, D's up fast, and we're connecting all the way down bueno, the line. a partir de esos números, ya después es todo progresivo y todos suben juntos. On the cambio. Yep. Yep, so... Uh, We have A, B, C, 11 there on the, on the, on the blind side for, for the cambio. So uh, there's another ruck here. So say there's another ruck here. They'll just stay in their positions. They just keep staying on the blind side. Yep. And a back will join them. So if there's a back, say number 12's made a tackle there. When the play goes there, 12 will come out and help defend there, and we'll end up with some backs these, coming out. These three, they just, start they just stay where they are. They just move across. So if they, if they, if they play the same way, they don't go up, they just... Stay. Oh, yeah, they go up. Ah, all right. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, yeah, they go up. Asking, if they, yeah, they go up. If they play the same way, yeah, yeah. they just go up? Yeah, they go up, yeah. So the challenge here, because um, every time I'm with a new team, uh, my one, two, and three panic. When I, dice when que I go through the system. El desafío dice que siempre que agarra un equipo nuevo, el, el A, B y C siempre empiezan a panicar, empiezan a como a desesperarse con este sistema. Because they used to going up and smashing people. Porque generalmente siempre estaban acostumbrados a y les pide que vayan para adelante y que golpeen jugadores. So our, um, our cambio. El cambio de frente. Yeah, ca call it cambio defense. Yeah, cambio defense. Yeah. Yeah. It's different to our same way defense. Yeah. So yeah. this is this is a slower hold and push defense. El cambio de frente es diferente a lo que acaba de explicar. So what we're trying to do, we're, lento. we're trying to turn three players, three players into six players. Y se tratan de transformar tres jugadores a seis jugadores. Lo que está diciendo que cuando a ver si cuando recién hablaba de agotar el lado, tienen mucha gente y quieren ganar rápido terreno. Cuando cambian de frente, dice que el movimiento es mucho, todo más despacio. Por de hecho, acá tienen jugadores más lentos. Entonces, seguramente no salgan tan de frente, sino que esperan. So we do that through nine pushing on the inside. Dice que el nueve lo ponen adentro. A holding and pushing out. B holding and pushing out. C holding and pushing out. And 11 getting to the outside channel, and A pushing out, and maybe a player in here pushing that side as well. Yeah, it's more like a drift defense. Yeah, so it's, so it's very much a drift defense on our, on our cambio. Bueno, es lo que estábamos diciendo, que en el cambio de frente es mucho más una defensa claramente que flota, ¿sí? con el 9 que se mete dentro del A, con este que también se puede sumar, y un jugador que a lo mejor fue el que tacleó acá que también se suma. Pero estás claramente buscando esperarlos y sacarlos para afuera. No vas tan rápido arriba. So if they bring players back, um, you don't want these players rushing up in here. 
Claro, dice que si esos jugadores se llegan a sumar, lo que no quiere es que se, no, se vayan no, no, de punta no, no, no. rápido, que esperen. And at a certain point, at the start, you might have three defenders against. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk about that. Va, yeah. Ahora lo va a explicar. Yeah. So, the same position as, uh, as the line defenders on the other side. So, you want your inside, inside leg up, your body pointing out, and you want to be holding and pushing. Dice que es inside, with the inside man taking you up. la misma posición de los, de los que estaban afuera de A, B y C del lado abierto. Son los que quieren flotar y arriarte para el touch. So you want to go those directions there and this player here must be able to see this player here out of the corner of his eye. Y dice que la posición de estos tres debería ser de tal forma que este pueda ver con la visión periférica a este y este a este, con la última parte de su visión. And as soon as you get nine in there and you get eleven up there, y cuando tengas al nueve acá y el once acá arriba, what have you got? ¿Qué tenés? Numbers. So numbers. what? Could, so we can numbers. change our defense from drift to what? Yeah, go forward. Yeah. So at that point, we can accelerate. And make aggressive tackles. Cuando te haces números, ahí sí acelerás y metes tacles más contundentes. Uh, he says if the, if the number nine makes the same as on the other side, they, they start running the base of the rock. Yeah. You just... No, it's the same. Nine, nine will take him. Eh? Uh, he says that if, he, if they should drift with the number nine or not. Yeah, so... You understand what I mean? So he says if the number nine takes the ball and comes back... If nine comes here, yeah. he'll chase. He'll chase. Um, then A... From over here, pushes for that inside ball. Yeah. If nine goes fast, then he will take him. Okay. But they're, they're trying to stay alive, and the key thing is that you can see the defender inside you out of the corner of your eye. So if you if you're like that and you can't see him, you can't stay alive. You can't defend. And that's what creates errors. So I'll go and make a tackle here. Because I haven't seen that he's on him. But if I'm here and I see that Diego's got him, then I can go to the next man. Okay, and it's just out of the corner of your eye. So we'll move on quickly because we can go through some of that outside. So we'll just have a look at some footage. So you can see that it's very direct, very fast. Now they switch and we go to a more sliding. Next one. A bit hard to see. So this is a switch. Hold it there. So, so you can see the different lines coming out here to cover that, cover that switch. Ahí podemos ver lo que explicó just, antes de cómo está cubriendo that again? el cambio. Santiago. So, um, it's the same defence when uh, you're defending against an overlap, extra man, uh, maybe a yellow card. So you've had someone sent off, um, or a switch defense. We use the same attitude for each of those situations. Dice que en todas esas situaciones donde ten, donde hay over, donde hay superioridad numérica del rival, eh, donde tenés un tenés un jugador en el eh, en el simbin, nada. El tema es eh, ser pacientes y flotar y flotar y flotar y confiar en tu interno y verlo como decía él con con el rabillo del ojo, digamos. 
And it's important that your inside defenders keep pushing, keep pushing up. Keep pushing up. Keep pushing up. Siga empujando y siga empujando y siga empujando. You don't want them doing that in behind. No querés que el, el okay. externo se pase del interno. Want everyone continuing to push up. Sí. Okay. okay. Yep. No, don't worry about that. We'll go on to the next. Um, go on to the next video. Uh, the next presentation. Yeah. So, just while we're getting ready, um, we got about another 10 minutes. Quarter of an hour. Where's uh, Juani? Juani? Juani here? That's okay. I think I'll Damian. take it. We've got about another quarter of an hour. Yep, 15 minutes. So we're just going to go on to um, the tackle and winning the ball back in the tackle. So, so what we've looked at now is, is where are the weak areas generally to attack and some ways that we can reinforce the defence to um, turn those weaknesses into a strength. Bueno, hasta ahora vimos, como dijo, eh, las áreas de debilidades de, la, de las defensas eh, y también cómo podemos transformar debilidades en fortalezas defensivamente, ¿no? Y ahora va a hablar un poco del tackle y de la situación de recupero de pelota en la situación de tackle. Okay, just while uh, Santiago is finding the presentation, we've talked about attitude. Hablamos antes de la actitud. But to me, the the mindset or the mentality of wanting to use your defence to win the ball back and score is more. It's more than just an attitude. Dice que para él el tema de eh ganar la pelota de la defensa es más que una actitud. I, I call it a mood. Dice que lo, 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 lo llama un estado de ánimo. And the mood's optimism. Y ese estado de ánimo tiene que ser optimismo. And it needs to go through the whole team. Y dice que tiene que estar claramente del 1 al 15 en todo el equipo. So, uh, to be able to not just win back the ball, but then use that ball to attack and score a try, which is the aim of the game, no solo recuperar la pelota, sino recuperar la pelota y poder atacar de esa pelota y marcar puntos. You need everyone aligned, everyone buying into that. Te necesitas that. a todo el equipo que haya comprado esa idea, que todos que tengan la misma creencia. So, um, I'll just quickly put some um, statistics together from Super Rugby. Algunos, algunos números del Super Rugby. And uh, these are... The possession platforms. Esas son las plataformas de posesión. De dónde obtuviste la pelota. Where the ball came from. De dónde these, viene. These are the number of tries. Número de tries. And uh, this one here, which had the most tries, particularly for New Zealand teams, was uh, turnovers one. Y de dónde viene la mayor cantidad de tries en los equipos neozelandeses de turnover, de pelotas perdidas. Dave's going to talk about uh, kick. Receipt and, and counter attack from kick receipt. Vamos a hablar del de tema de recibir la pelota y contraataque de pelotas recibidas de kick. But I'm going to focus on on this because this is what we've been talking about. Pero se va a enfocar en turnovers, en pelotas recuperadas. Next, next slide. So I've spoken about that. Optimista. The whole team needs to be buy-in. No es solo una actitud, es un estado de ánimo. Okay, some some key ways. Um, to win back the ball in the tackle, uh, it's really important, I think, that you not just have a good system for the, for the team that you're playing against. Dice que claramente no solo eh, tener un buen sistema defensivo, sino un par de cosas claves para recuperar la pelota. But you also need to Necesitas. teach your players what the cues are to or what the signs are for you to attack the ball and, and try and win it back. Así que también tenés que enseñar a tus jugadores cuáles son esas señales o esos signos donde vos tenés que ir a atacar a, a, a la defensa al equipo contrario y recuperar la pelota. 
So as an example, um, you might be playing against a team that um, always goes the same way. Por ejemplo, ustedes saben que van a jugar contra un equipo que siempre te agota al lado. And maybe at the third ruck, uh, they lose some numbers cleaning out. Y dice que a lo mejor en el tercer, en el tercer rack, en el tercer movimiento, ya no llegan con tantos hombres a limpiar el rack. So a strategy there might be that you keep your seven available to attack that rack. Entonces, por ejemplo, una estrategia que puedes tener es que el tu siete lo mantenés libre para que en el tercer rack vaya a jugar esa, esa, esa pelota. Whatever, but, um, lo que sea. It's, um, every team has a tendency and... Uh, I like to look at those and try and attack. Dice que todo, todo equipo tiene como una tendencia o algo que lo caracteriza y él trata de analizar ese detalle para atacar ahí.